Welcome everyone. I introduce you to Skibidi Multiverse, a parody on what seems to be taken on another universe in the Skibidi Toilet Verse. Toilets switched with the body of the cameraman. This brand new series has been popping around lately, and it was created by No Skill Clutch. The series already has eight episodes and would likely continue. Take note that the camera toilets are still good, while the Skibidi humans are evil. Inspired from the original series. All right, let's start the analysis. The first episode starts on a restaurant similar with Dafuk's Skibidi Toilet Episode 4. As you can see, there is no door on the right. Instead, the Skibidi human appears on the left. Which seems that he is trying to eliminate the camera toilets. We can see pictures of Gabe Newell hanging on the wall. Episode 1 has nothing much more into it. Moving on to Episode 2, we see a group of camera toilets and toilet humans afraid of what they had just witnessed. We see a giant Skibidi human alongside with its Skibidi human alliances. This giant Skibidi human might be a knockoff version of Titan Speakerman, although he seems to be smaller compared to the Titan. We see some of the human toilets running away while being chased by the Skibidi humans. And we also see a helicopter flying around the giant. And finally, we have the POV of getting flushed, which ends the episode. Episode 3 shows us an interrogation room with TV woman toilet, two camera toilets, and a Skibidi human tied on a chair. This episode was inspired from Skibidi Toilet Episode 21. The TV woman toilet uses her abilities to eliminate the Skibidi human because it doesn't want to give information. One detail from this episode is that once the Skibidi human died, it had some circuit sparking on its neck, which hints us that these Skibidi humans might be robots. The episode ends with the iconic emoji on TV woman toilet's head. Let me tell you that episode 4 is a special episode. First, we see a group of human toilets and few of the other camera toilets together with TV woman toilet, witnessing two of their allies getting flushed. After the two Skibidi humans finishes the camera toilets, they give some thumbs up to each other, just like from the original series. One detail about these Skibidi humans is their movements, moving and glitching like robots. Before they even get near our POV, TV Toilet eliminates both of them. Their necks gives these sparking sounds again. Right after that, the iconic G-Man has appeared. This time, in his human form, he shoots lasers and appears to be very big. His lasers went from being yellow to bright red, which might hint that this version of G-Man must be very strong. Our POV gets eliminated, ending Episode 4. Lastly, Episode 5 gives us an heroic entrance. This episode starts with a bunch of human and camera toilets running away from Skibidi humans, trying to flush them. This episode introduces us to two new characters. A large camera toilet and a larger Skibidi human, a knockoff of what seems to be the Titan Speakerman, again. From the distance, we see the heroic entrance of Titan Camera Toilet arriving to save the camera and human toilets in the scene. The Titan Camera Toilet revolves around the giant Skibidi Human and eliminates it easily with one to four blasts. That's just crazy. My speculations is that everyone in this universe might be increased in strength in some kind of way. Episodes 1 to 5's analysis ends here. Let's just hope that sometime in the future, we get to see the collaboration between Dafuk and No Skill Clutch. This Skibidi Multiverse series has a lot to offer in terms of audiences and theories. Like and subscribe for more analysis videos.